there's so many different situations that I've been through. Like, for instance, getting knocked the fuck out. I'm telling you, it is not something that's funny. I don't recommend experiencing it. It is 100% dangerous. But you can learn some shit from getting knocked the fuck out. You know what I mean? For sure. I mean, I've never been knocked out by somebody else, but yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, I have been knocked the fuck out by, by somebody else, by multiple people. But most of the time, I either wasn't looking, which is a lesson in and of itself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Also, that clues me in on some. I must have been looking stupid as fuck. You know what I mean? Just observing some shit and just getting knocked the fuck out. You know? But well, B, no, you don't look stupid. They look like a piece of shit. Yeah, but I don't know. There's there's something to it. Like in this one situation, like I remember, we were at a family gathering, um, and it was me and my friend Curtis, right? And then uh, Joseph, who's been like my brother forever you know and his older brother damon and miguel are outside this is like mind you like 150 people at a party right Mm -hmm. and we're celebrating like his cousin's birthday everyone's drinking we're trashed right so curtis goes into the house he takes a piss i go into the house i take a piss i come back out and in the midst of this like I swear it was like five minutes for both of us to just take a piss and just come back out. We're getting more beers or whatever. We come out of the house and all we see is Damon and Miguel backing across a field like and just throwing hands. And there's so many people, bro, that they're literally jumping over each other, like trying to hit them, bro. And it's like them fighting. I shit you not like 30 people. It was fucking chaos. The entire backyard, like, turned into a fat-ass brawl. And, like, we just come outside, right? And I'm like, oh, shit. So Curtis sees Damon and just takes off. And he's, like, two paces in front of me, right? I see Damon, and I tell my feet, run! Like, and black, nothing. I don't remember shit, bro. Someone knocked you out. What apparently happened, so that's what I'm saying. I must have been looking stupid as shit because I was ready to go. But I was just so unaware. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, uh, and fucking <laughs> this big ass Russian dude. The the dude must have been like 6'2", six, 6'3", six, or some shit. Just came stomping up and just went, pow, and just cracked me like right here. Jesus. Right? right I swear to butt. God, bro, the way Curtis described this was so funny. And my homie Miguel was like, he saw it, and he was like, dude, I'm not going to lie to you. You got your fucking... So- I saw your soul, like, leave your body when you got punched, bro. <laughs> like, I was so... But the weird shit is, I pop right back up. Yeah. Like, I'm, <laughs> like I'm blacked out. I don't remember nothing, right? But anyways, I get stole on. Boom! The dude hit me so hard that he ran into Curtis, right? Curtis is my fucking brother, right? Curtis turns around and goes, what? And he wraps the dude up by his neck like this. He stole on him. The dude turned this way. He put his arm around his neck. And Curtis is big, bro. Like, he's little big. He's only like, I swear, 5'10", 5'11", but he's fucking big. You know what I mean? Yeah. Curtis dunked him on his head like, wow, bro. And my homies just start maxing this dude out, right? Curtis takes his shirt off. He's stomping him. He's talking shit. You know what I mean? And, like, it was bananas. Some dude had gotten hit in the head with a fucking Hennessy bottle, split his whole shit. Like, bro, I'm telling you, this was like a legit madhouse brawl, right? (laughs) And the fucked up part is it was started by these, like, crackhead-ass Russian dudes that just happened to sneak into the party talking shit, right? Yeah. And then it turned into basically, like, some country-bred-ass, big-ass bodybuilder, biker-ass dudes, right? Who were, like, family related, you know, fighting the family versus, and there's just all kinds of people in between. Meanwhile, my homie Joseph's cousin is sitting there dancing going, I don't give a fuck, just (laughs) drinking in the middle of the party. I had got knocked out, right? And I popped back up. Side note, I was wearing a leather jacket. This is my first night wearing a leather jacket. I'm looking like the Fonz, you know what I mean? (laughs) Like, it's not like I'm yoked or nothing. Like, I'm just out here 
trying to be fly, and I just got fucking knocked the fuck out. I'm eating a banana. Hell yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I get knocked the fuck out. I wake back up, and I'm still unconscious at this point. And there's a lady that gets on my back, like a tweaker lady that was huge as fuck. And she's wrapped around my shit like this. <laughs> what the fuck? Me. I can't and I'm, open I'm, that. I'm walking around because I'm unconscious just walking around. <laughs> she's hitting you. Like this. Yeah, my homegirl, Brianna, thank God she fucking has my back. Brianna's fighting this bitch off of me while I'm still walking around. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on. And when I come to, like, mind you, this all, all happens in the backyard. Yeah. I don't know how much time went by, but I come to, and there's like a sea of people. I'm in the driveway all of a sudden. I go from the backyard to the driveway, and there's like a sea of people, and they're smashing my friend's mom, like, up against the wall. She's trying to break shit up, and the dude is like 450 pounds. Like, he's fucking huge, right? Jesus. Huge. Like, and I'm not talking like fat. He's like barrel chested country. Massive. He was like a weightlifter and a wrestler. You know what I mean? <laughs> he looked Brock like a Lesner level. type motherfucker. Yes, bro. I'm telling you, it was his dad or his uncle or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> and all I see is my friend's mom. And it's not just like her. It's like this dude, there's some more country people behind him. And like a wave of people, and she's getting like pushed up over this wave, like smushed against the house. I'm like, what is going on? So all I know is I'm like, and there's a bright ass light in my in my eyes coming from behind him. I was like, fuck that. So I run up and I jump and I'm like, boom. And he fucking staggers back. I swear I only hit him in the chest or some shit. <laughs> right. And he looks at me and just pushes me back. And I'm like, oh shit. I like fall back. And I get my shit back up, right? I'm like, what? And I look, and this dude that looks like, I, I'm not, I can't make this up, bro. He looked like Jeff Foxworthy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he looked like Jeff Foxworthy. He's wearing plaid. He's got the sleeves cut off. And he just comes <laughs> stomping up to me like this, bro. Like, you know? <laughs> I was like, this dude ain't about to max me out. I turn, I grab him by the plaid. I pick him up and just, boom, slam his shit on the ground, right? Yeah. This 40-something-year-old man got fucking knocked the fuck out so much, I got all my confidence back, bro. <laughs> all my confidence back. But I look up, bro, and it was the cops. And it's such a fat brawl, bro, that the cops are just like, hey, we'll let fuck it, all we'll let it, Well, yeah, we'll let it burn out, and then we'll handle it. They let me slam this old man so hard on the concrete, <laughs> dog. So hard. I'm surprised I don't even have a broken jaw by how fucking hard I get sucker punched. My friend comes and finds me. And I'm going, yo, who hit me? Who the fuck hit me? But I'm I'm smart, but I'm dumb too. So like when, I, I, when I'm like unconscious, man, I might throw a big word in there. I'm like... Who got the audacity? The <laughs> fucking audacity. You know what I mean? My friend's trying to fucking, like, calm me down. The cops are like, what is that dude on? You know what I mean? And our homegirl comes walking up. And she's like, Joseph. And we're fucking stoners, right? So she's like, I got the... And then we see the cops. And she's like, uh... Especially... She's black, too. She's like, she's really not trying to be yeah. dealing with black in this county right now. She's like, I don't know. And so she puts the fucking weed jar thing in her pants, and it fell through because she didn't know. She she must have been in the brawl, too. Yeah. Her pants had ripped, so, like, oh, right fuck. out of the crotch. So she puts her shit in there, whoop, and it just comes <laughs> right out. And the cops just see the little weed container rolling, and they just look at her, and they go, you going to get that? And she was like, uh, yeah, so she picked it up. Shout out to her for saving the fucking weed. Yes, that was Sierra, I believe. So shout out to Sierra for grabbing the fucking weed. <laughs> and I'm so mad. I'm not even trying to get in the truck, bro. But Joseph's family, they ride or die, they took me home, bro. And now those are like situations that you go through and you're like, man, I had to be the dude that got knocked the fuck out. You know what I mean? That'd be my luck, too. Don't worry, dude. But, I mean, you learn some shit. 
pay attention, dog. People like yeah. to punch you. For real. And you don't even have blind spots in your vision. <laughs> bro. Hey, fuck that. He was in my blind spot, bro. <laughs> but I should have head on a swivel. You know yeah. what I mean? You see a brawl, you go, all right, let's yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> from now on, I do a whole 360. I make sure I know where the brawl is really at. <laughs> there might be a brawl going on across the street. There's some perimeter shit. Yeah, yeah. you got to scan the shit. And look yeah. at the horizon, motherfucker. You got to scope, uh, scope the surrounding areas. Look. Right here, there's a scar on my head. I don't know if you can see. There's a little notch that got taken out of my fucking hairline right here. This wasn't even a brawl. You want to talk about some crazy sucker punch shit, bro? All right. I come out of high school, and, like, it was the end of the day. In Franklin High School, there's what's called the Hill. Mm -hmm. And the Hill kids are all the fucking stoners, the bad little kids, right, that are kind of weird. It's a hodgepodge of, like, Trailer park people and whoever, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're the outcast kids. But I fucked with them. The Hill kids were my folks. They always held it down. I would come and sell weed to whoever uh, didn't sell weed through there, right? <laughs> and, whoever didn't sell weed, I'd sell weed to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, sometimes, like, if you owe some people some money, you know what I mean, and you ain't paid them back, I'm your man, all right? I got you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't fucking watch it. Um, but there's a dude, he was, he was one of the homies back in the day, man. He was always around the neighborhood. His name was Eagle Horse, right? Eagle Horse? Was that a nickname yeah. or an actual name? That's his actual name. He's Native Whoa. Native American cat, bro. Okay. And Eagle Horse was buck wild. Always has been, bro. But a genuine fucking soul. I don't care what anyone says, bro. I, I got nothing bad to say about Eagle Horse. You know what I mean? He might have yeah. had some kind of sort of iffy drugs. You know what I mean? <laughs> but he share them shits with you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> he give you a cool price. like. And so he's kind of like the neighborhood, like, I, I don't want to say like unicorn. He was more like a leprechaun. You know what I mean? Yeah, he just randomly like, showed up with a pot of gold been robbed a million times like everyone used to rob him because if you saw him you knew he had some shit you know what i mean yeah <laughs> it's so like, it was like a unicorn but he was the homie for real like always bro i got nothing but love for him yeah and um so i come out of the school right and uh man i'm just walking by the tennis courts um i got my backpack like this I'm just walking, and there's, like, a line of trees, right? And this is, like, in, I don't know, like, fall season, so the, the trees had broken off or whatever. All the leaves and there's this long-ass branch, right? And I guess Eagle Horse had come running up to the tree, and he just smacked the branch against the tree. <laughs> now, I'm walking, and just, boom, I get cracked with some shit. So, the tree is, like, this far. And there's all this much extra branch, right? So when he snapped it on the tree, this whole piece just came flying. Yeah. Smacked me in the face, bro. And I turned around to, like, fight, and there was, like, nobody there. Like, <laughs> You're what? like, what the fuck it hit me? Then, then all of a sudden, it's Eagle Horse right in my grill, and, like, two of my other friends going, oh, my God, are you okay, bro? I'm, like, leaking from my head. And I'm like, yeah, bro. But what who the, the fuck, fuck happened? What hit me? I, I literally <laughs> thought it was a chicken wing. Because it was a big-ass branch. I was like, who the fuck hit me with that chicken wing? <laughs> so clearly I had a concussion. Like, it hit me dead-ass, like, right on my temple, bro. I was like, who the fuck hit me with that chicken wing? Dude, my shit was opened up. And my stepdad told me some crazy shit because he was a chef. Reno said, uh, if you put black pepper in a wound, <laughs> it'll cauterize it, right? <laughs> I'm so fucking out of it. I'm like, yeah, whatever, bro. I'm, it's cool. They're like, no, bro, you're like leaking. And I'm like, I'm going to walk home and I'm going to put some black pepper in it. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> they're like, like the last thing. They're like, you got moss in your skull, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> black pepper ain't helping you. What are you talking about? Well, yeah. <laughs> and like, so I had to go into the school. And I guess that time I just learned be more aware or like, look out for ch chicken wings and branches. <laughs> Wild bro, I need to go on a shirt. Who hit me with that chicken wing? 
that's what it looked like. I thought I got smacked in the face with a chicken wing. I was all fucked up. But that's no, I had great. to go and clean out my head. Yeah. And they wound up stitching me up. And all that other shit. I just had to stick my fingers in it with Ugh, like fuck. water and shit and clean it out. Man. That was one where I, I, I gracefully took an L on that one, bro. <laughs> Come to think about it, man. I should have got like a free eighth or something, man. Yeah, for know. real. Like, dude, you hit me with a fucking chicken wing. <laughs> Give me something. Hey, I don't know. I took an L on that one, oh, bro. Shit. I'm not even gonna lie. And I was so fucking like out of it. I'm already dazed and confused. And like, I seen him. I was like, bro, I don't even like. I kind of want to fuck you up, but that was such an accident. You know what <laughs> that I mean? was such an accident. I can't even be like, mad. Yeah, it's not even an option. You know what I mean? I can't be yeah. mad about this shit. And especially you're all like, it's fucked up when someone whoops your ass inadvertently. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, sorry, bro. Oh my god. And then they're like caressing your face and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like, bro, clearly I'm sorry. you love me. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh shit. Yeah. Like this is how people wind up in abusive relationships by accident. Yeah, the toxic oh. shit. Yeah. But I don't know, man. Like. Sometimes you just got to be yourself and like shit happens and you can only speak on your perspective. You know what I mean? Like to this day, I wonder what the fuck he was thinking. Just he must have just been like, I'm going to just break this branch. Like, I don't know. (laughs) They definitely had to just be like, I'm going to just break it, bro. Bro, we're grown, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was like 19 or some shit. Like, I swear to God, he was older than me. He was grown. Yeah. Yeah. Just came back to school to sell some weed, and apparently, you know, God had it in the plan to let him fuck me up. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's, just, <laughs> that's phenomenal. That's yeah, phenomenal. bro. Like, I got stories, bro, of just like, and there's stories that, like, sometimes you don't want to tell. Yeah. But think about how much joy and fun you get out of those stories, right? 